Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If you'd like to see how I achieved this look, please keep watching. I'm going to start off by using my e.l.f. Mineral Infused Face Primer to prime my face. Okay, so unfortunately I had to do my eyebrows off camera, but right now I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyelids with some LA Girl Concealer as a base for my eyeshadow. So y'all, I don't even know why I tried to do this, but basically I was trying to show y'all that I dipped this sponge into some setting powder. I dipped it into the Sasha Buttercup setting powder to set my eyelids and get them ready for this eyeshadow as like a base. Alright, so now I'm just going to go in with my Real Techniques powder brush to dust off the excess powder from the lower parts of my eyelid. And then I'm going to go in with another brush from Real Techniques. It's an eyeshadow brush. And I'm just going to do that to dust off the leftover powder closer to my eyebrow to keep from messing up any work that I've done previously. Now I'm going to take my LA Colors 5 Color Matte Eyeshadow Kit to make like a base for my shadows. I know I used a setting powder, but I want to go in and like reinforce my base with an eyeshadow. Okay, now it's time for the good stuff. I got my Juvia's Place Masquerade Palette, and I'm going to go in with the shade Bur Burkina. Y'all, I don't know how to say this stuff. Don't laugh at me. But anyways, the important thing is we're using that as our transition shade. It doesn't look like much now, guys. You don't want to do too much with these colors because, like, the glitter is going to be our highlight. So this stuff is just for a base, a background transition so it looks all blended and pretty. But yes, go in with that and just keep filling it in until you see the depth that you want it to be. Alright guys, so now I'm going to go with, with a smaller brush, it's more dense, so we can pack on more color. It's a crease brush from BH Cosmetics, and I'm going to go in with the shade Zulu to start filling in some color into my crease. As I stated earlier, you don't want to go in and pack a bunch of color on at one time. I know you guys are like, she's doing all this and I'm not seeing anything. Well, I'm building up my color. Um, this is better for when you want to blend and have a seamless blending process you start in with a little bit of color and continue to add until you get the shade that you want so basically i'm transitioning between two different brushes i'm using a fluffy blending brush that i got also got from bh cosmetics to blend out any harsh lines from what i'm doing with my crease brush so just keep on doing that it's a process but it's worth it in the end guys trust me Alright, so now I'm back in my Masquerade palette with my crease brush and I'm going in with a shade called Ada. It's a little more pigmented than the other shade I use, Zulu. And I'm going in on top of that to kind of enhance that color that I already put on my crease. So now I'm just going to go in with that and then blend it out. And then I'm going to take a darker shade. I don't know how to pronounce that one so I'm not even going to try guys. But I'm going to put that on the outer corner of my eye. Now we're finally going in with this beautiful color guys I love this color it's called Casablanca and I was gonna go in with a flat brush I think it's a concealer brush actually um, also from the same BH Cosmetics brush kit that I use my crease brush from and I'm just gonna go in and rub that on my eyelid starting at the bottom and basically I'm gonna do a cut crease without using concealer yeah 
it's just that smooth guys it rubs right on and it's so pigmented but by rubbing it and pulling it instead of patting it you get way more pigment and you get the shape that you want so go ahead and rub it all over your lid and create that crease y'all and y'all I just realized I'm ashy that is so embarrassing but that's from me washing my hands so don't pick on me <laughs> But yeah, I'm taking my Maybelline New York Single Eyeshadow Color in the shade Mocha. And I'm going to work that into my outer corner and blend that onto my glittery eyeshadow that I already put on there. And I'm going to take my fluffy brush to blend that all out so there's no harsh lines there. But it helps to bring out all the colors that you already put onto your eye. Okay, so now it's foundation time. I'm going in with the shade 550. But I'm not sure how to pronounce the brand, guys. I don't want to look stupid, so I'm not going to even try. But it's right down the screen, and it's going to be down in the description box. So basically, I'm taking a flat uh, stippling brush, I think, by BH Cosmetics as well. They're all from the same kit. And I'm going to basically like pat that color onto my skin. I usually use a beauty blender, but after watching my lovely, lovely Jackie Ina, I realized that this is better for full coverage and I wanted a full coverage look today so I'm just gonna go in and pat that all onto my skin and then you'll see me in a second taking a little additional foundation in certain areas where I felt like I needed a little more coverage Alright, now it's time to conceal and highlight under those eyes, down my nose, in the middle of my brows, on my forehead, my chin, and above my lip. And you're going to see me go in with the concealer around my mouth. I get really bad smile lines, so I found that doing this actually helps. And what I forgot to do is, I didn't realize until I was blending it out already, I forgot to put powder underneath my foundation and the areas where I sweat a lot and in the areas where I oil up and in my crease line. So guys, if you crease up, if you have problems with oil or sweating, put the powder underneath your foundation, all of that before you do your makeup so that your makeup will stay and you can reduce the creasing. And then do the concealer method on your smile lines. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and contour with L'Oreal True Match in the shade Espresso. I know I haven't blended out my highlight yet but we're gonna wait and let that get a little tacky it blends out way better and gives you more full coverage when you let your concealer sit there and dry up a little bit so for right now we're gonna go ahead and use a sponge to get a sharp line going for our contour I'm gonna also contour around my forehead I don't really contour my nose but that's because I use my concealer down my nose to give it a narrow look but I don't want my nose to be too chiseled if you get what I'm saying so yeah go ahead and do that it's hard to blend out right now because I let it sit I had to run around and do some things around the house and it dried a little, a little too much so it was a little hard to blend today but usually guys it's really easy to blend so go ahead and just do that take your time and get rid of those lines Alright, so this eye is already all blended out, so now I'm just going to go in with some Sasha Buttercup setting powder to set underneath my eyes. I don't bake. I use the sponge to press it into my skin and then I dust it off. Um, I don't like to bake because I feel like the LA Pro Girl is already kind of matte once it blends out and so doing that just makes it dry and it's hard to absorb it all and I feel like it just gives me a little bit more flashback when I do that so for me this is what works for me being dark skin I can't bake like that with this setting powder or with any other setting powder for that matter that I've tried so far so I just let it sit there for a little second and then I dust it off and then I'm going in underneath my contour with the setting powder to help define my contour a little bit more makes it more chiseled gives your cheekbones more definition 
And now I'm just using my sponge again to press that powder into my skin and then I'm going to go in and buff it out with a brush. But for right now, first we're going to contour with our Black Radiance Press Powder. And I'm using that to just, you know, set the contour, make it look good, bronze me up a little bit more, add some more color and depth into my cheek around my forehead. And if I lift any concealer um, closer to the edge of my face, I use that to cover it up. Then I'm just going to use the same brush to just dust off any excess powder I have left over that I didn't blend out just yet. And this brush, I love this brush guys. It's really, really good for blending and just like making all of your makeup come together. I watched this on one of my favorite YouTubers page and I'm glad that I invested in it. So you should definitely invest in it. I'll put it in the description box down below. And now I'm just going back in with that brush to fix my eyebrows and I'm going to dust off any more powder and finish blending. Alright, time to add some color to those cheeks, guys. I'm using Black Radiance Blushed, Baked Blush actually, to give me some color. Alright, so this is probably one of my fave products. It's a blush by Sleek. I saw this when I first started doing my makeup and guys, it's beautiful. You can use it as a highlighter if you want to, but you know, if you're extra like me, just use it as a blush and a highlight so now i'm just gonna buff it out and get rid of harsh lines so that it blends next i'm gonna go in with my master fix setting spray and spray my face guys this helps everything to just melt together and look so good and seamless next i'm gonna go in with black radiance again their highlighter or bronzer whatever you want to call it and guys this will just have you looking amazing like i love this highlight people always ask me oh my gosh what are you wearing well guys, this would this is it. This is the T. Take advantage, guys. Take advantage. It's beautiful. So go ahead and do that. Then you want to go ahead and blend all of that out again. You don't want any harsh lines. You want it to look as beat but natural as possible. You know what I'm saying? You gotta look good, guys. We gotta snatch. Okay, because this video was already taking a long time, I went ahead and did my eyeliner off camera because it's very time consuming. But if you'd like for me to do a video of that, let me know in the comments and I can do a video of that separate. But right now, this step is so important. To, it just ties everything together and I didn't realize it until I looked at my old makeup looks and wondered what was setting me apart from other YouTubers or just other makeup artists in general and I realized it was because I was not going back in with that color underneath my eyes make sure you get that step guys then I'm gonna go ahead and set my face one more time like I said this just makes everything look so much better and gets rid of that powder look then I'm gonna take my eyeliner is a gel eyeliner by elf and go into my waterline and just line it up all right so I did my lashes off camera because it took too long also but we're going to go in with our mascara on our bottom lashes. This is really important. It helps to, you know, complete the eye look. That and also what we're going to do next after that, which is highlight underneath our brow bone. It just helps, you know, make you look a little shinier, a little nicer, cleans you up a little bit more. Next, we're going to go in with our NYX Lip Liner in Brown Black. And we're just going to line our lips and get it ready for this beautiful nude lipstick that I'm going to use next. This lipstick is from, oh guys, I can't remember. I know it's called Creme Brulee and I got it from Walgreens, so it's definitely a drugstore. Next, we're going to go in with my favorite gloss. Oh my gosh, I love this gloss. It's by Ulta Beauty. It's called Lip Juice and it's amazing. Alright guys, that's the end of this look. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And also leave any comments you have down in the comment box and I'll be sure to get back to you. Also, if you would like to see me do a separate video on my eyebrows, eyelashes, and eyeliner, please let me know. Thank you again for tuning into my first video. I hope to see you all in my next couple videos. Bye.